what's going to happen is that knowledge and skills will be a more scarce resource than it is today. And that will mean that we need to organize skills and knowledge differently so that we can utilize them in a much more effective way than we are doing right now. And one way of doing that is by specialization so that you have people with more narrow focus and more expertise, but they are utilized much broader than they are today. You are not locking them into uh, one single company in the way that we are in a way doing right now with fixed employees in, in companies. Rather, they will be part of networks where they can be utilized in different organizations at different times. One of the industries where we can see this type of development is the, no surprise, software uh, industry, computer softwares. What they do is that the source code is open for anyone to use. And you can do your own development on it and create your own products. But then you also feed back your knowledge to the community that you work with. And uh, by doing so, you can reduce your own costs. You can leverage on the development that other people have already created. And you can really in that way make new leaps in development. And we can see this happening also in other industries that are closer to our own, such as the automotive industry, where car producers have outsourced the development and production of specific components to specialized companies. And by doing so, they in a way share between OEMs because they ship in on the same development cost to an expert company. And that means that you can make new leaps in development and you can be more effective in your use of the skills that you build in that company. There are really two main ways that you can become successful within these circumstances. And it is either that you develop your expert knowledge so that you can fulfill that task, or in the other direction, you go for the broad competence and your key skills is really to make these different experts play well together. You can look at it as a conductor leading an orchestra. Each individual instrument, if you would pick them out, is really played by an expert. But listening to them by themselves, it doesn't sound really that good. But when you get them together into one harmony, if you like, it's great. So are you an expert or a conductor? I think when we look back at today and take that in perspective, when we look back in 20 years, we will be amazed at how different business was organized today compared to what it will be in 20 years. That what you had within the boundaries of the company is now something that you source from outside. And you have a much larger flexibility in the way that you utilize skills and knowledge. I think we need to have a new mindset when it comes to what is our knowledge? What is it that is business crucial for us? And what is it really that we have to share in order to make new leaps in development?